so I am indecisive, so I asked three friends, should I play... What were the options again? One second, let me fast forward through this text I have for someone who w doesn't want me to leave because they're bored. Or I'll just go to Alec, since that's easier. I asked, should I play Learning Love, MGU, Monster Girl University, or Lovely Escape, which as you can see, won, or To Do Today, and, yeah, I got two rep uh, replies instantly, it was fun, and then my other friend was just being a lazy bitch and not trying. So we're gonna play this now. I, I'm assuming it has to do something with an escape. But, well, I have to be female. Ah, uh, my name? Tar time. Perfect. Some excellent wallpapers here. Here I am, it's another tedious morning at the office, on another typical day of the week. The white logo mug... Where? <laughs> Near the monitor. D fucking... I see a clear cup, not a white mug. It's been sitting there since yesterday's coffee break. Last minute notes scrawled on my notepad are still waiting for me. I see the notepad, but I don't see this mug. Can't even remember how long it's been since I started working as a writer. Maybe five or six months. No one's really keeping count, but I feel but I, the feeling of being newly minted employee hasn't rubbed off on me yet. As it's as if I'm the new kid in the school. It's nothing I've experienced before, to say the least. My coworkers have been welcoming so far, even towards a budding writer t towards me who doesn't have much experience in making a Tome game. Excuse me, what's that mean? It's not like I've wanted to work. I'd be lying if I wasn't to get, if I wasn't overjoyed to get in an all-female office. Though everyone is so friendly, nobody complains. If you dying to acknowledge the female body does gross things sometimes. Hey there, tired time. How are you on this? Hmm. Gorgeous and pleasant morning. Gorgeous and pleasant this time. Better than a rainy one. I suppose last week's downpour was pretty bad. I just got here. What about you? Hey, that's the person on like the screen. I just came a few minutes ago about boot up the computer. Right. So did you finish writing that mayor section yet, or are you still stuck on how the demon battle is supposed to go down? Now yeah, I think I have a good idea how to build things up before the action scene now, though. Missouri is afraid to be burdened to other near knowledge, but Missouri seems to be pleased, and something about her trust in Missouri to the sub doubts. Hey, what do you think about- what do you think, Alexis? Oh, hey, that's my name with an S at the end. Oh, I think it sounds like a great idea. I mean, it's a fitting scenario for the two gals, well, but I don't see what not. His friends trust after all. Or as I'd like to think so, anyway. As long as you don't go off the rails, which would be wild, by the way. I should be fine. Alexis knows that... <laughs> I think her spine just broke in half. <clears throat> it's just dialogue, right? It's nothing major. I'm sure Lisa will approve. Even if she doesn't, it's whatever, yeah? She'll know you're getting used to things. She'll help you fix it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Tehe. <laughs> what haven't I been? You know how to make good games, too. You can always ask me for advice. I briefly turned the note as I was for the world building. Project I'm working on now is new, but we have a third track class. Although we haven't decided on new newer games title with some of the key assets, but can I, can I name this game? I still don't know what Otome means, but fuck it. Wrestling that issues the press is... I'm gonna fucking Google it real quickly. Okay, so I just binged it real quickly because I can't be bothered to look at Google. A Tomei game is a story-based video game that is targeted towards the female market. Generally, one of the goals besides the main plot goal is to keep a romantic relationship between a female player character and one of the several male or... Oh, so it's just... female service. Lovely. Intending to resume... But you know you don't have to have your hands full at the moment. It's not too much to ask, but would you like to help me darken the outlines of some of my sketches? 
pretty plus. Won't take long, I promise. Just trace and go. It'll be easy. One, two, three, and it's fun. Nah, just coloring behind the lines. <coughs> Lovely. Even though Alexis comes around to ask me for a lot of a help, for help a lot, it feels difficult to say no to that smile of hers. It's an excellent smile she has right now. It's an excellent goatee she has. <laughs> Lovely. Besides, as a relatively recent hire in the studio, I should continue to help in any way I can. Who knows, this may even turn out to be a good way to build a rapport with my co-workers. Shut the mouse, let me know what I have to do. Suddenly burst into it. She can move, corrects her back again. Fever chips fill out the bag onto the floor with the mess she leaves her own face. She's far too upbeat, far too in the moment to know it's anything that has gone amiss. Strangely though, enough, I don't care, Alexis has been way bullying people in. Ugh, stretch. <laughs> yeah, you're the best hard time. Thanks. I know I can always count on you. Now if you help, we can slip by. Excuse me, what was that I just heard? I don't think anything over here that's going to make others do your work again, Alexis. Oh boy, this can't be good. Never is one least is angry like this. No compromises, no excuses, it's just how she is. The morning hasn't even started, I'm already finding myself too worried to take a break. Morning hasn't even started yet, and I'm already finding it. Wait, all because I have an employee who's too unproductive to do anything on her own. So, are you the boss? You think making game development is some kind of joke, Lexus, that you can manipulate others to, into doing your job just because you feel lazy every day? Well, I mean, if it works, yes. <laughs> you realize what you're doing? You're shitting all over the time and effort I've put into the studio. If you have it all wrong, I was only- Alexis, don't even start with me. This is f this isn't the first time you've done this, I suspect this won't be the last either. She respects her happy go lucky demeanor finally eclipses big. It's a vocal marriage maker, baby, baby, baby. It's a mismatch ahead of game development, of course. Uh, There's a death sentence for anyone who opposes her authority, really. Must she ever budge to settle a difference, because that would go against her principles. However, I don't know if it's possible if she's ever been in her wrong. For someone as serious and sharp as she is, I've always been afraid to dispute her word. Their arms crossed, her dark hair tied up, Lisa shoots an intimidating glare at Alexis. I like to think I've been quite reasonable with you, Alexis, even when you started off on the wrong foot as a new hire. I was lenient with you. I gave you tips and left you warnings. I even went on my way to defend your flagrant misbehavior in board meetings. As manager of the studio, I've done all I can to do that you can succeed and be at your best. This is the way of repaying me. So many discussions. You still haven't learned from your mistakes. How long longer do I have to wait till you get your act together, Alexis? I'm sorry. Just fucking fire her then. It means far into presence. These puzzles covering your eyes before muttering something under breath. She sh it's not that difficult to put in the effort. Oh yeah, it is. I'm I def I can't put any effort into anything I do. I'm not even putting effort into this. Most of the time, I don't even keep track of the time up here, and I should really be doing that because, yeah, then I don't have a box popping up in the middle of these shitty recordings. I mean, why can't you be as ambitious as Mayu, for example? Is that that serious? I turn to Alexis, looking for def. Looking defeated, Jinch Floss. Hey, hey. Okay. Fine. I'm sorry. Yeah, fuck off. Nothing I can say is more scary as Vector to ask with her head down cast. So finally turns to me, her constant disapproval and physical pains me. Don't think you're off the hook either, Chart Time. Like this work isn't your responsibility, too. Passivity is only encourages her to keep this up. She'll keep lazying around and asking others to do her bidding for her. Focus on your own work. She needs to learn to do everything on her own. You're only accountable for the tasks I personally assign you, okay? Otherwise, what's the point in me hiring her? Does hiring people just to get others to sound like makes sense to you? I guess not. We least pauses. Well. <laughs> Just to get yourself together, Tartem, I know you're better than this. The fuck did I do wrong? I just said I would help. It's a fucking crap. Like I was just saying, I forgot all about the time. In her frustration, Lisa does 
does a double take at the floor. Oh, and please clean up this mess. I know that it most likely came from Alexis, but keeping the office clean is everyone's responsibility. Thanks. We're thusly not in agreement. Oh, there's something for Alexis to do. I know this is like an hour for me, too. Lisa briskly leaves my desk and heads towards the. Why well, drink with all your Spencer? Hell yeah. Oh god, I am tired. Fuck this shit. I grab a tissue out of the box and dump the potato chip crumbs into the trash bin. I feel bad for myself, but especially for Alexis, since I'm partly to blame for Lisa getting so angry. Just check on Alexis. Down the opposite direction, is sneaking over to my co worker's desk. This is her coming from the gloominess overtaking her. I'm sorry, but at least she's pretty unbearable when she's angry. She... No, I understand. You don't have to apologize. After all, I'm the one who asked for help. I need to be more responsible. I give anything. I'm sorry that I got you into this mess. The redhead's eyes start around nervously. Like, it's kind of hard to explain, but just let's just say that old habits don't die. They hibernate. Okay. She means she used to have a bad habit of asking for help. Doesn't sound so bad. Everyone needs help. That's just natural. The way it probably isn't the time to press her about it, especially now when she's being just lectured. I see, yeah, old types can really come back to bite you, huh? No kidding. It's like an on or off switch. It's not like there's not like an on and off switch. You can flip whatever you want. In that way, habits are like green clothes. All you can do is either get an umbrella or run away, run far, far away. It's not depressing. And you have to, oh fuck. And you have to deal with them whenever you come knocking or your door. Life isn't hard enough to place around schedule. Clots, huh? Sounds dismal, but it makes sense the way you put it. Also, I don't think I've ever heard of someone outrunning a fucking rain cloud. Maybe on like a car or a bike, but not on a rake. The entries are diary. Yeah, let's save, why not? <laughs> it's true, it's true. But why else would they come, you know? It's not like I asked for them, which no one else would either. Can't look concerned, but she didn't ask for the trouble to befall the Tons folk. There's a cat train break in my room, one sec. Okay. It's not like she wanted to be with Squay to live with the Demon King. What the fuck are we talking about? Who'd want their life to be put in danger? Uh, me. My life is not that grand. I'll just go jump out a window right now. Hey, Don, you want to join me? No? Okay. Well, I sure want it. Yeah, exactly. Reminds me, Lisa, that silly old girl. Does she still, you know? If only she could see. I am. Lex and I take her cue to stop disrupting the people around us. Who the fuck was that? I guess I was being too loud again, huh? Sorry about that, it doesn't seem like getting you in trouble today. I definitely can't have my mad at me as well. By the end of the day, you'll probably hate me too. I Oh, this is bad. Very bad. It's okay, Lex. Don't worry about it. Don't we'll have any, I promise. Just probably get back to work. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, later. I don't really know what I'm doing. No, blah, blah, blah. Don't do my task. What you're gonna do is catch it up to do. Before I know that everything quickly comes around, time always seems to fly when I become immersed in writing. Or when you're just tarted. Alright, everyone, you know what time it is. Pina colada time. Step away from the computer, so hurting downstairs. You know the drill. You don't have to tell me twice. Tehehehe. <laughs> Alexis. You're not still mad about this morning, are you? Well, how's your work coming? It's, uh, going. Good enough, I suppose I've cooled down a bit. Yeah, let's go share a plate of. Dumplings. What, 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 why me? Is an apology for earlier, of course. You say that like you had no responsibility in what happened. Or you say that like she had no responsibility in what happened. Because that doesn't really matter how long, as long as you've both learned your lessons. I sure have. Me too. Alright, I'm trusting you too. I'll do you proud. Especially if we get a triple serving of dumplings. Why do I get a bad feeling I'll be the f one footing the bill for all that? Or I'll split the bill with you, Lisa. What? Dude, thank you guys. Sir, is she just like fucking broke or something? Take my place at the end of the line. Let me, Alexa, this is Vasil's teriyaki chicken rice bowl. 
Oh, between Udon and Lisa's waiting line, it's just to her, she's most likely picking out her order, too. Finally, May is standing directly behind Lisa, is intently staring at the menu plastered above her. I haven't brought lunch to lo I haven't brought a lunch to work since I was first hired at the studio because it's actually cheaper to die here than breathing. Okay. Owners of the restaurant are gracious enough to th grant our whole company a sizable discount off every meal. It's a thank you for renting the upper floor of the building which they own. Sometimes I wonder whether this is a better deal for us or them. Triple serving goes in a bowl of beef food on, please. You were kidding about that, weren't you? Never joke about food. I am insulted that you do not know that after all this time. Ha ha. Everyone who works here looks forward to lunchtime. It's on it's not only about filling our stomachs, it's time to unwind and refresh ourselves. Bendress fucking Christ. What's up with women just getting so close to me? Back the fuck up. Like this happened to Dimensional Monster Girls too. Everyone just got really fucking close to me. My personal space is being invaded here. Could you just back up for like forever. I am not ready to be this close to you. Give it a couple days. Pets me on the shoulder as she heads off. Don't fucking touch me. You're up next to our time. Get your head out of the clouds. Clockwork. Smile on employee. You order, ma'am? Hmm. What the fuck is bulgogi? <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. Let's go with this. Flick over my shoulder. Knows everyone seems to be heading back upstairs. Lots oh, of spicy bulgogi to go. Sure, we'll have that ready for retard time, right? No. It is Panda Man. Get it right. Fuck. Why didn't I name myself Panda Man? I could have been one of the few last pandas to ever exist. Because they're going extinct and shit or some bullshit like that. Around 20 minutes later, my order is called out. Fuck. Climb upstairs, out of my trips on the stairs. Container of ramen flies out of her hands, clamoring against the floor, spilling the contents every which way. Ground is covered in citrus scented goodness. Her skirt is pepper. Fucking Christ, I don't care about this needless bullshit. Okay, mild. Jeez, that looks like a bad fall. Ah, what should we do? What should we do? Someone should help Mayu out. <laughs> I just fucking lunged towards them. <laughs> I volunteered. <laughs> Wait. Can I see that again? Wait, fuck. Can I- I wanna watch this again. Wah! <laughs> just fucking lunge towards them. Wah! <laughs> this is fucking beautiful. <laughs> okay, guys. You'll take care of this. Thank you, Tartem. I'm glad to see you're such a stand-up person. Let's, let, let me know as soon as you're back in the office. Alexis, you need to head straight back to work. Okay, if say so, boss lady. If your ankle doesn't hurt too much, Mayo. My, mayo, I'm gonna call you Mayo, because it's easier for me. Hey, you're the person that decided to fucking shout at us. With her knees bent, she leans against the table of her... Against the... She leans against... The, where the fuck did I get table from? <laughs> Here, I'll help you stand. From my hand, but the Bruna only gives me an awkward blank stare. I think she might have said... I don't think... No, it's it's okay. I need your help, hard time. Sure. Like this guy's actual name is Frank. No, it's a woman. This, this actual girl. This chick's actual name is like Vanessa or something. But like, I made sure her name is hard time. Cause fuck you. I am the bully. Thank you. I'm fun on my own. Almost starts to swiftly stumbles over herself once more. I immediately hop to her side of front her from toppling over. She knows you apologize. Stuff happens. Not to me. You must live a pretty good life then, huh? With Maya's arm hanging around my neck, we enter our way up to the stairs as carefully as we can manage. Damn it. Now I can't enjoy my bulgogi! After a while, I managed to get her safely to the office. Thank you again, Tart Time. Gotta reflect her on the Y axis. That's the right term, right? I don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't mention it. I'm just hard time. The nicest guy ever. Mayo, mayo. Oh gosh, I hope you're okay. How's your ankle feeling? <coughs> Brought you an ice pack. Should relieve some of the pain. What? <laughs> I am great at handling that. 
Maybe he seems to be in good hands, so I decided to let, leave the woman be. No serious go to my lunch and clean whatever mess, but everything has already been mopped up. Without any other duties to attend to, I return to my desk and get to work. Well, how's your bul bulgogi? Wait, is that little box there new? I think it might be. No oh, fuck. I'm not checking. Still the thought of my... Perfect. Still the thought of me being orange. Stress still stands. Fuck. Not even even crossed my mind. Reach over and start beginning to pack up for the evening. Afterwards, I make my way towards Mayo's desk. Towards you coming this way. Is there anything you need? Look over and find Mayo strugg staggering a bit, leaning against Lucy for balance. I was thinking maybe I could take my home, you know, and make sure she gets there safe and done. Besides, I don't think she's eating at all today, so I thought making dinner for her might be helpful. Don't worry about that, I already scolded her for her poor dietary habits. In any case, you don't need to go so far over a minor trip and fall. You sure? I mean, it'd be good to have her, for her to have some extra help tonight, right? Once again, there's no need for you to be overly concerned, hard time. Jeez, I'm just trying to be nice. Besides, no, she wouldn't be comfortable with that. You two are barely acquainted, you know. No, honestly, I don't even consider that. I guess it was such a good deal. Exactly. Wow, you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> Fuck. Just, I'm sure Mayo does, but this isn't the time for you to try to play hero. Well, fuck you. What if I want to be like Superman or something? It's like you, Mayo, is a grown woman who can handle things on her own. Who said I was grown? Dark time, you should really be more careful. No adult wants to be flaunched. In fact, infant, and I'm not even gonna try to read that. You know, fucking, I'm gonna look. You know what? You can think right. Fuck you, Mayu. Wait, shit. Maybe I should have saved. Yeah, let's go with that. But still, we're gonna let it go. Okay, stay home. See you both tomorrow. Feel better, Mayu. May I just respond verbally, but she does it give me a nod before I turn around. Yo, shit, this is a nice apartment. Fuck, man. So I can't help but worry about me. Oh no, purge the thought. Dark times just has it under control. It's like Lisa said, I need to trust that everything will be all fine. I'll just text Lisa to make sure she go home safely. Hopefully she won't be too annoyed that I'm texting her this late. Bitch, it's like, it's gotta be like, at latest, six. I whip out my phone and ask whether things are gonna be okay finishing, before finishing my dinner. Step and I began running through my usual morning routine. Plot the agenda for the day, review my drafts, check my emails, lately consult with my colleagues. So you know, after Alexa comes around, however, the cons part usually happens first. Then again, Skultus looks just to fuss someone's for his ass. My words aren't working tonight. No, I think it's like 20 to 8 minutes a day. Alexa should have popped around the corner with her sweet sunny smile to greet me and comment on the weather a while ago. I haven't heard from Lisa either. She normally would have noticed Alexa's habits, but approached me and complained about how she needs to be punctual and take her job seriously. Hope you may just whatever's going on. Walk my recubus to hear loud echoes of someone frantically stopping up the steps. Guys, guys, I'm sorry. It's, I'm not dead. I just had to uh, save a cat. No. Two cats from a tree. Dard. Prince won't ever be late again. Oh, Tart Time, thank goodness you're here. Rosalie, she's not gonna fire me, is she? That's what it's to me. Fair for his reasons. Oh, ticket is no one's, no one's gonna fire. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Have you seen her yet? Tell me I've driven told her I was late. It's just not twice in a row. At least it's scary, you know. I don't know how you stand to be around her at dark time. It's okay, I like to have seen her all morning. I was just about to go to Miz. This was what was happening, but I have a good feeling that she might be here. Thank the heavens. My life was saved, you have no idea how worried I was getting. Like my alarm didn't go off this morning, and then I lost track of time while I was in the shower. I didn't even have to do him do my hair. Your hair does not look messy at all. You did your hair. Don't you fucking lie to me. There, I went to make breakfast, but the damn toaster wouldn't frickin' cooperate with me. Then I had to take the trash out. Blah, the struggle's real, you know what I mean? 
Sure, I think I do at least. Let's play start and play for us. Don't tell them I was late today. I'll make it worth your while too, promise. I'll pay for lunch today. How about that? We have a deal? I feel bad, but I don't think I'm gonna sell this criminal there again. Just launch my channel. I'm aware of the secret between me and you. Okay, cool. Yay. Yeah, you're the best, you really are. Yeah, sure. Let's get to business. We'll do our we'll work our butts off like nothing ever happened in all specific thing. Now let's get to work. A genius plan said old Luxus and I return to respect to the survey day. Okay, so I just wanna point something out. Everybody else has something on their computer, like some software. Except like this guy right underneath this random ass logo here, he just has a screensaver. Like this guy has some icons and a thing open. This has some this guy has like a game running or something. But me, I'm just like no, this guy didn't even get to work. He hasn't even got all his monitors on. I'm just sitting here with screensavers some a weeb. An hour and a half passed before Lisa managed to show up at the office. Let's meet, get up, jump around the mix, my music almost perfectly. Sorry, but you know, we're like, we're assured that was urgent. I hope there wasn't any trouble over gone. No worries, I understand things happened. It's just subly raised and it's just Alexis. Bitch, back the fuck up! What is with women getting so close to me? I'm not used to this. I want to thank you again for your help you stay tar time. I know I might not, not, not be much, but please allow me to pay for your lunch today. It's the least I can do. I would thank you for the offer, but Alexis already agreed to pay for me. She wants to be wearing a fist because she puts her hand on her head. Really? And why, pray tell, is that? Watch day of all day is tar time. This musters up its excuse. B because after you told me yesterday, I had a change of heart. This music. <laughs> I just want to fucking go get up and dance. Okay. Headset fell off. Lisa, I understand I shouldn't have asked her for help with my work. That was wrong. That's Lisa. That's not bowing, that's kneeling. You really know how to put on a show, don't you, Alexis? I'm not buying this for a second, not one. No, 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 I swear it's true. It, it's how I really feel. I'm, I'm a changed woman. Yeah, I can vouch for her. She's trying her best to make a difference. First step, rehabilitation, as she called it. It's not completely lost. It's always trying to prove me she's more reliable than we think. It's, she's an important member of the studio, albeit in her own quirky way. Hmm. Well, it's the interesting scenario we got here. And we're all coming over to... Normally, you quietly listen to whatever I have to say and then agree with me. What all this issue we discussed today? What you're telling me now is that Alexa is a good worker. Well, I wouldn't say a good worker. She's trying to be a good worker. Freeze up, you can't dispute the logic of her words. You need to have the brain power of two cats stuck in a tree together to believe otherwise. Um, say it's not hard for me to tell when something's wrong. I don't even have to ask, but I can tell by the looks on your faces. In fact, let me guess the reasons now. No, or pay for lunch start time so she, so she can prevent you from snitching on me to what? Snitching to me that she was late for work. Am I correct, or am I correct? It's not like I expected anything more from you. Not that I wouldn't love a surprise. My entire time, please go to your desk and begin working. We're wasting time here. We have to release. We have a release to pair prayer for. If either of you need anything, I won't be long. Just hold tight for a bit, okay? Let's cross her. Alexa, please follow me to my office. Yes, Lisa. <laughs> she fucking ran to her office. <laughs> well, you and I awkwardly watched the woman disappear in the background. What? Okay, goodbye, disco music. I'll miss you. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I remember this time. Fuck yeah. Renette, awkwardly, apparently uncertain what to do, plays with her hair. She's must. So, tired time. Did you get a good night's sleep? Yeah, I guess. What about you? Me too. So, how's your work going? Fuck. I've been making progress. I suppose things are easier now that I've been at it for a few months. Oh, great. Cool. Uh, are you feeling any better today? Renan immediately gets down to the floor, silently brushing me off. Are you, Mayo, are you okay? I received no response back to ignoring me again. 
It was a nice while it lasted, but it should know it was short-lived. Return to my desk. You walk forward. Everything happens at your desk. For I know I'm at favorite time of the day, lunch finally comes around. Turn my legs down the restaurant, feel I'm concerning my meal options. As I step behind, I spot Lisa and Mayu. Like two peas in a pod there. Search through the lab, but I can't find her. Do you know if Lex is going to eat lunch with us? She won't be joining us as much as I am against punishing you all. She still needs to make up for last time. I mean, I'm not doing this because I want to. The problem is that her being late by even a few hours will throw her whole schedule off since she's already gets distracted enough as it is. Besides, at worst, Alexis can be late under undermines her credibility as someone I can rely on. This is Lisa, all right. Finicky about what characters people should do. Fucking, I don't care. Someone just pay for my lunch already. I don't mean to speak at a term, but isn't it unfair to call someone else for being late when you're equal culpable? Fuck, quite honestly, you're mistreating her out of personal resonance. Ha. Ha. No. Don't dare give me something so petty ever again. Do you honestly believe it's stoop so low, tar time? Yes. Me and I were late because I had to escort her to the hospital this morning. She told me the swelling in her ankle got worse overnight, and I wanted to make sure it didn't go untreated. Like Lexus, who was late because of rather dubious reasons. See the difference here? Should I take her from the top? No, I understand. Jesus, call me fucking tits. Jesus. I'll oh, stress back in my neck. So I'm sorry for the trouble. I mean, uh, no, but that was no excuse. It's fine, Tar Time. I, just, I knew you only wanted to make sure your coworker was treated fairly. It was a matter of pursuit. Why are you getting so fucking fucking upset about this bullshit? Fuck off. Why am I getting so angry with you? <laughs> Even so, you really should consider a factor before you come to any conclusion. In my experience, it'll save you a lot of trouble. Duly noted. No, it won't be. I'll, come, I'll just jump to all the conclusions. I think it's our turn to order. Let's not waste any time, shall we? Cashier calls the two of us up, for their, up to the register. <sighs> Go ahead, time. You can order first. What the fuck is beeping bap? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> I want some beeping bap, please. <laughs> this is beeping bap. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have some beeping bap. <laughs> I can't fucking. <laughs> These food choices are beautiful, like. <laughs> Words are amazing. I'll have the beam beam but please. <laughs> Coming right up. Thank you, man. It's like, fuck, man. <laughs> like, I'll have some beam beam but. It's like, it feels like it's African, but it's not. The bimbibap is visually zizzling with flavor, and stone bowl crackles from the heat. Lovely. Your dil your dish looks really good, time time. Yeah, it sure does. Thought I might give this one a shot since I haven't tried it before. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's dig in. And uh, oh fuck! It mix the meat and ve fresh, crunchy vegetables into rice and take a bite. The contra I don't care about taste. I want popcorn, but I have shit popcorn in my ass. Hey, hey, don't do that. I'm going take even more of my food. Bit and bit, they hack away at my bean bup. Okay, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what came over me. I guess it just looked irresistible. If you're still hungry when you're done, I'll share with you to make up for it. Can't help but wonder why they didn't order a bowl for themselves if they were so hungry. We're gonna be so hard to comprehend sometimes. Bitch, you are a woman! Maybe. Maybe you're trans or something. Who the fuck knows? But, for all, for, but you're a woman for what we're going. Mayo offers me a bit of a rum, but I reject on that basis. That soup is awkward to share. Then minutes, the three of us happily finished our meals and are on our way back to the office. An hour into the afternoon, I hear a loud commotion from nearby. Pick my head over my computer monitor, so I'm watching the event unfold. Sitting at her desk, appear madly frustrated and assume she's still stuck on the spiriting stage of another character. This meanwhile seems to be personally supervising Alexa's work. Why isn't this going alright? Like, what the hell? See? I swear I'm going to chuck this damn stylus at the screen. Cooperate with me, why don't you? Maybe you should 
deck a short break. Yelling and complaining certainly aren't going to inspire you. No, shut it. I can do this. Just stop watching over my shoulder and go away. You're killing my creativity. No, really, please, I insist. You're being a distraction to everyone around you. No words to Lisa aren't. Dude, this music is fucking great. Where the hell did they. I. Can this be not copyrighted? Because if it's copyrighted, I'm. F like, fuck, this won't be on the. No. What do these buttons do? Ah, oh, that's neat. So that's save. This is settings. Cool. Let's see. Come on, come on. Stop it, you piece of shit, computer. Move like I want you to. Alexis, please listen to me. I don't want to have to repeat myself again. Take a break, okay? But at least it's best efforts for a invisible. No, no. No less I've had with you. Screw this and screw you. Damn it all. Ugh. Grab, right, grabs the band of chucks it back at the wall. And after cracking sound ringing out, may you annoy all the noise, rest for a seat, and stops all the way to the restroom. So put, pull yourself against the acting in your age. You need to learn to control your anger and not take it out on other people like a child. I'm sorry for being so blunt, but I am honestly not sure how else I can get through to you at this point. In any case, the only thing that's screaming won't help anyone, so you need to cut it out before you do something you'll regret. Ha! Now you think this is a problem. Why the fuck does everything have to be a problem to you? Like, why do you even care how I act? I'm only a huge failure in eyes, Lisa. Is that a... Stop with self-depreciating nonsense, Alexis. Right. Yo, every Alex is just fucking depressed. I asked you to take a break, and now you're putting insecurities on display f for the entire world. Quite frankly, this isn't a good look for you. I haven't even addressed your little personal attacks either. Mark suddenly pushes her chair out and starts wiping tears from her eyes with her sleeve. Not enough to take a break of my ass. It's always do this or that, do that, Alexis. You're not working hard enough, Alexis. Do you think I'm some slave to you? All I've ever done is make my life worse than some friend you are. Hands clench her hair undone. The redhead grabs her purse and storms out the office. Uh, at the pit in my stomach, I simply watch everything unfold. Like, I should do something. I doubt this choice matters, so fuck that choice. If it does, well, fuck me. Who cares? I'm probably only going to play one through playthrough of this game. Actually, no, I'm just gonna leave it at a fucking, like, just cliffhanger here. Fuck you all. Just, like, I'm with Alexis here. Fuck you all. Just go fucking burn in hell. Fuck this shit. Okay, we're back. And I think I'm gonna go after her. I haven't really thought about it. I just want to pick the middle option. Find the redhead sitting on the curb outside the building, peering off the ferry road. Alex, are you feeling okay? What do you think, Tart Time? Wanna talk about it? If that is if you don't mind. Do Lisa send you down here? So that it make it her little girl over and do her dirty work so she doesn't have to deal with it herself? I think there's been a slight misunderstanding here. Lisa and I aren't dating. And she didn't send me over. No one. Fuck. No one for, did, for a matter of fact. I am just here because I love you. When it slightly tilts her head towards me, Ruckland moving her hands from her, her over the eyes. Then explain why you two are so close. This doesn't make any sense to me. Well, actually, we grew up together. I've known her since way before she ever started the company. Ha! No wonder. Better than dating her, I suppose. I can't imagine how anyone in their right mind could possibly put up with someone as bitchy as Lisa. And again, if you were actually dating her, I might have flirted with you. Oh. Right in her face, too, so that'd piss her right the hell off. I want to rub to her smug face and show. Okay, you need to calm the fuck down. Never realized Alex is could be so vicious. Lovely. What the heck? Do you even hear what you're saying? For someone who's supposed to be friends with Lisa, you're being pretty cruel. Friends? Well, we are, but you clearly don't understand how things with her work. You might think you know everything about Lisa since you're privileged not be your child of Ram, but telling you that, you haven't been saying anything. Have you lived with her tart time? Or rather, have you lived and worked with her? I guarantee you would have regretted having to go through all the trouble she caused if you were in my place seeing her being her roommate was living hell. Good doggy. 
If there's one bit of advice you'll get from me, it's you should never work with your friends. This, I don't care if you're still hunky dory with them or your pen pals or some monk gullabaloo like that. They will drive you insane. One's eyes dip toward the grin as she says. The closer you are, the more intense it becomes. Working for Lisa is worse than you could ever imagine. <sighs> well, I obviously understand that Lisa has your flies against her all a bit divisive, but she's a fucking asshole. We used to get along well before you came around. We would take turns carpooling to work. We'd have a blast. So it's my fault, got it. Believe it or not, I even got my work done on time properly. While well, we had worked. Then we'd go home together, Lisa and I would still enjoy each other's company. Maybe on a good day I'd make her dinner, or she'd might buy dinner for the two of us in yours. We do whatever we wanted if we want it when we wanted, because that's the point of living by the day and present, not giving care about what should come next. Uh life is a breeze. But for the first few months we lived together, God knows why. But after that she got fed up with me. Now I hate that uh, conceited two face. I mean I'd quit in a heartbeat if I could. I don't know what you guys went through, but can't you make it up to her somehow? Treat her to like something go out for a drink. Even if, she, even if she seems crappy, you have to get credit for sticking with you through the thick and thin. Is that what it means to be good friends? You know, but that way I guess I should be grateful for her. Maybe I should do something to show my appreciation. Like, not throw pens at walls. It's okay, because as long as I, you guys stay friends, I'm sure Lisa will understand that friendship that there has in us. I don't know about that. I really don't. Well, you don't have to worry about that right now, anyways. Come on, let's get back to the office. Okay. When you mean Alexis is back working while Lisa remains holed up in her office. I don't think any of us have gotten much done after the chaos ensued at hours ago, though. I packed up, ready to call it a day. Lisa finally emerges from her office. May you could lock up for us tonight? I'd really appreciate it. And it turns her around in her chair and nods. No, she just slides in from the left. Mm. Something's going on, Lisa. You usually lock things up yourself. It's because we're going to the bar together. You get wasted, just like old times. Doesn't it sound like so much fun? If I can even comment, Lisa slips ahead of me and has begun corralling Alexis down the stairs. Alright, Alexis, I'm ready. Let's get going. We're off, tools. Everyone will see you all tomorrow morning. You okay with not being along with them? Just slides her head. It's okay. You weren't invited either. Guess it's true. Mm hmm. I stew in the silence as I try to guess whatever the room is. If only the time she continues to stare at my feet. At my feet, not her feet. Mine. Okay then. Would you mind if I stayed behind a little longer? You probably should. shouldn't. I'll be fine so you can go. Oh, okay. What dark time? Yeah, bye. With that, I turn my head out of the door. I English so well. Unfortunately, it seems like getting wasted has forced neither Lisa nor Alexis to turn up place. I'm glad they've seen, they've made up or somehow, or at least they have temporarily put aside their differences. So I put my least together stuff together for an announcement. As you all know, last day was of testing, we've been reflected published in this release. We all need to do our very best, extra, extra sharp diligence to focus. We need to make sure nothing goes wrong. Alexa, start time both your main priorities to double check and send out all the press kits. Okay. Yep. Mayo, you need to ensure that our website and social block use and gameplay were without issues. Okay, great. I'm on it. Uh, Missouri loves all work on Missouri loves company will be postponed until further notice. Are we clear? No. All right, let's get to work. Does my opinion matter? I am not ready. One second. We gotta lunge at her again. Just whoa! I just lunge at people. Also, maybe I should back the fuck up this time because that was me getting close to her. 
Hoping she doesn't feel overburdened, I approach Lisa to ask how things were going in this pre-release campaign. For the most part, I've already articulated all the ads to set up. Ready to call another time. On that, I'm currently in contact with several game journalists who are willing to review our game. Would have liked to have been able to send them early copies of the game, but it is what it is. You win some, you lose some. I'm glad things are okay. True, this is nothing I can't handle. What seriously stressed me out, though, is that Sparage is spam emails asking for game keys in exchange for so-called reviews. Like, I know you're not this famous streamer who plays mob only MOBAs. Like, I know you're not this famous streamer who only plays MOBAs. Why would you play visual novels? These people just don't stop. Good point. I recall Lisa having to shoot through all her spam emails for an hour or two with all the other releases as well. Oh, uh, fuck, I keep clicking that button. You're a good dog, Don. Where the fuck does the escaping come into play? That's what I want to know. Told Lisa this is really vest and customizable filter. Maybe I can help you out. Let me filter the messages for you. We can switch jobs until I'm done. Thank you for the offer of time. I think I'll take you up on that if you don't mind. Sure thing, I know how busy you can get. Now we get right on to it. Follow me. Now this is the fuck chamber, right? I mean, the, the office boss. Yeah. Lisa gets me over to her desk before showing me the problem on her monitor. So this is the junk I have to deal with. Seems like there's no end to them. You see that? Another cheat just popped up. Don't worry, I'm used to stuff like this, so it shouldn't take long for me to empty your inbox. Alright, Tom, Tom, show me what we've got. I'm trusting you. Oh shit. Can we go to like Pornhub on this? I'm finished you no. Okay. Good evening. I'm Sarah Evans from the Oda Maiden Press. A previous game reviewer, Kotahata, I recently resi has recently resigned from her position. Even so, I hope we can continue working together. In any case, I'm contacting you with a request for a review key for their newest title. Reflections. Are you still interested in working together, Sarah Evans? Game not working. I recently purchased one of your games from a mother. For some reason, it doesn't work. Okay, let me help you with that. Reply. Good at. Okay. Uh, did I do it? You never knew this start time. Let me help you with that. Can you please send me the de following details? The name of the game you bought and the place you bought it from. Did that work? Cool. I think I did it. But stop fucking Jesus. Screw off, stop wasting our time. Greetings, my name is Akemi. Okay, cool. I've heard you make games aimed towards women. Would you say your demographic includes lesbians as well? This seems like a legit question, so let me help you with that. Why do I have to I, this is like retarded. After this short time, we do make games with lesbian parents, so I would say yes. I would recommend playing a few of our demos before you buy anything. I'm just wondering about how your game, Modern Cuties, is doing. Okay, so this, all these are just like normal, except Mr. Loopy over here. Buck, 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 buck. But this, th th these people are actually asking questions. This person, game's not working. This person wants to ask questions. This person's also asking questions. Yo, let's go help a fan out. Why the fuck not? Start time, we're not working on to port monkeys to a new engine. We sure aren't be ready. And then this. Like... I have no background info on this. I guess, let me help you with that, I guess? Who the fuck knows? Good afternoon, the start time, let me help you with that. Which storefront would you like a game, your game key for? Okay, perfect. Mama, I guess you weren't bluffy, you really can work quickly. <gasps> <laughs> what I tell you? Nothing. I need to put more faith in you, huh? Sorry. I treat you to lunch. Fuck. I think my little hard worker deserves a prize. Thanks, oh, that sounds great, actually. Thanks, Lisa. I did think... I want to see what these amazing lunch options are this time. I got my Google... Fuck.
I got my Google ready with beam beam bop. Okay. Takes you to just come around. How do I not get to choose? Good question. What was the last time? Move I graduated. Right, I think might have been when we were still in high school. Right, it's blah blah blah. Well, if, you whip, if I hadn't helped whip you into shape, who knows whether or not you would have passed your exams. But you said I'm a bad studier. My, my time at the university was much more fulfilling, though. I had the freedom to join clubs and study whatever I found interests instead of being forced to write random essays about Shakespeare. I don't even like Shakespeare. I don't... I want to choose my food. Do I not get to... Ch you made sure... To get you eel shrimp to our put I know how much you love them. I've never had squid or whatever the fuck it was. Shrimp. Octopus. Yeah, I've never even fucking had that shit. Oh, you're the one who's a chainsaw. My memory is my favorite kind of sushi. Yeah, like my baby said. I don't know about that. Man, I appear over here from the girl who used to take you to water park every summer after pleading for your parents' permission, but I sincerely hope I've matured. No, you're still a bitch. No one loves you. When school's out, blah, blah, blah. It's a little embarrassing. I'm going to break out my stupper. Hey, do you remember the time you bled through your swimsuit? Yeah, that was fun. I made the water all red. Too embarrassed to come out of the washroom. I'm going to help you quit. You're too scared. That happened again. You were cooped up in there for who knows long. It's just funny looking back on it now. You need to stop making fun of my periods. They're very serious and painful, I think. Well, I had a embarrassing moment in public before you write. I have never had one of those. Not like one of those accidental ones. Like, it's like, oh shit, that happened. No. And you have to embarrass myself. It's on purpose. With respect, I believe he was right. You weren't really a kid, were you? I don't exactly understand where Elise is going with this, but I nodded my head. Stranger memories can reveal things about a person you don't know, that's sick. Yeah, sure. More crumbs are abruptly added since I've never seen anything more. I finish the finish but... Thanks for lunch, so it was delicious. Like I said before, there's no need to thank me. I just, I was just grateful for your company. Wait, my company? Oh, fuck, I'm retarded. Likewise, this was no waste time. Let's get back to work. Gotta pass. Wait, I got no work done. Fuck. I spent half the day sorting five emails. Why the fuck did I do that? Everyone manages to leave on time. That was a boring ass day. Missouri loves company. We pray it'll be another title of fandom novelty in our line of successful Atome games. Everyone, including Alexis, in protective here do. Why don't we just fuck off and get to the actual good shit? The fucking Christ! What are these time jumps? What have we done? I don't care about this bullshit. I'm trying to get to an escape. Head to Antilles' office, which suddenly has extra chairs and tables set up. Bunch of bounty drink snacks and delectable looking sweets. A few board games and cards sit on the table. What's all this for? What do you think, silly? I don't know. Birthday party? We're having a party. Man, my birthday party. That's what nobody told me about this. This supposed to be, wait, fuck, what? We're supposed to be surprised we're in studio wide celebration. We're completing our fifth game. Okay. I was planning to ask if you wanted to help me carry all the stuff out from the trunk, but you looked so busy, I didn't want to disrupt you. So I ended up allowed to said, still finishes speaking, a few co works from another department begin to fill the room. Well, this is going to be super fun, terror time. Aren't you pumped? No. I'm going to make sure you're totally wasted by the end of the night. No, thanks, I need to get home. We'll be able to walk straight when I'm done with you. No, oh, I just love getting hammered. I'm such a party animal. Once everyone is comfortably seated, Lisa steps forward and makes an announcement. If I get everyone's attention for a moment, please. Okay, I just want to say you're all fucking assholes. Okay, this was fun. Okay, now let's party. Fuck yeah. Stock. Wait. <laughs> they just like start clapping randomly. 
Well, since that's over with, let's get this party started. I'm hearing some males in here. I thought this was an all-female office. I feel like you. Looks like immediately pours a shot of vodka inside the scramble to me before. Oh, Jesus. One, one, two. No thanks, I'm not that huge fan of that brand. I'd rather pour for myself. Oh, I'm just sure know how to drink. Lisa smirks. This is nothing as Alexis can testify. You bet your ass, she, she might look like a white, but she's no pushover. I'm never guess what it takes to take her drunk. Some crazy bullshit amount. Looks like certain emotions towards. Fuck! No, not wanna be weeb! Okay, there we go. You only have it one glass. One another. How about a little later? Main thing on the watch. Okay, Keys. Fucking. I don't care. When does my vision get fucked? Alexis eagerly refills my shot glass to top off. Vodka cheerfully. Okay. Haha, -ha, you are on. Ergodic. What the fuck is that? Oh, I thought. Uh, that was just random babble notes. Add a girl. I thought it was going. Ergodic. Count on three. Bring it. We clink glass together and smirk at one another. One, two, three. Bottoms up. Ah, I'm fucking hammered. Shit. I, I'm the lightweight. Fuck. Other next. By the way, I downed the vodka. See, you're already getting a hang of it. Meanwhile, I'm just fucking. I'm just fucked. I lost count of the sound point, but I can't bring myself to care. I'm just drinking. These are your six yards is over here. You guys is. You truly have a way with words, my dear. So, what did you want to show me? That time's the rest of the model. You're right, at least it's set of blue leaves. Don't worry, you're way cuter this way. Hey, don't fucking hit on me. Now we're all in the mood. Who's ready for some fun? How about a game of the. Now you talk on my language, you're on. I do not sound drunk. Things quite quiet after a few hours, the comes to a playing chatty fashion. Still a little. I'm still as buzzed as ever, though. My stomach's starting to get seriously upset. I casually scope up the scene to see where everyone is. So my coworkers, I don't care. To my left, Lisa misses their cop and she's brutally conversation. Ever since we enjoyed it, but they're not by them. So I call the taxi, swear walking, help a noodle. Help me sober up. My place isn't too far away, luckily. Shumble into my bedroom and slump into bed is immediately passing out. Well, I'm glad we got to see your bedroom for like five fucking seconds. Wake up with the most drying hangover to date. I don't care about maybe about fuck off. Phone get text message from Melissa. God damn, what you guys do? You should have left that time at first. I was worried sick on that. Hope you're okay. Please check my back. Asp. Amelia, I reply Amelia, although my hands are a little shaky. Fine, just had to go home to rest. I wasn't feeling too well. Threw, I threw some fresh clothes on and dredged over the sink to make breakfast. To hang over this fish and I decided to play my f make my favorite greasy hash browns with ever, ever greasy pile baby. But I was fucking, I don't care anymore. Get to the fucking escape. I am really disappointed. Monday morning arrives and I'm back and you just sink in my leather seat like I always do. From the fist pups around the corner. Third time are you on this, um... Stupendous spectacular morning. It's fucking Monday. Shut up. Time, I guess. That's great. Oh, this is like a chip here from this special. Oh, is Maya going to. Oh, shit. She actually spoke to me. Hi, Tar Time. Glad to see you're alive. I'm dead, actually. I'm a ghost. Look. Good morning. Okay, fuck off. Nothing just enough. I never change. What was that the in <sighs> Fuck off, you whore. 
Oh shit, their face is actually filled in now. Shit, man, that's actually clever. God damn. Fuck.